Usaka pagtuo. Usaka tingog. Usaka katawan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Gikan sa New Center sa Cebu Catholic Television Network, CCTN 47. Aniyan na ang mga nagunang balita sa alas 12. Ulohan sa mga balita sa alas 12, Senador Nancy Binay, misugyot nga undango na lang ang Cebu Bus Rapid Transit Project, apa ng DOTR na balaka. Kaparehan sa Basilica Minore del Santo Niño, mihimo og dugang lakang humanasakpan on cam ang pagpangawat sa sulod. Mayong unto sa nga ni Dennis Tabar, ako si Gia Navarro, koban sa inyo sa Puerza sa CCTN News Team, kami mo ito ganin sa mga balita sa alas 12. O karon sa kompletong detalye sa itong mga balita, giauhag ni Senadora Nancy Binay ang Department of Transportation nga ikonsidera na lang ang pag-undang sa mga proyektong inabagan sa ubang nasod. Apil na ang Cebu Bus Rapid Transit Project. Ato sa budget hearing sa Senado nga to sa Department of Transportation nakita sa mong senador nga adunay kakuwang sa pagdumala ang BRT project ingon man ang issue sa iyang right of way kini aron dili matud pa mas maalkansi ang kagamhanan tungod sa mga problema ng nasugatan supertado mismo ni Cebu City Councilor James Anthony Cuenco ang sugyot ni Binay nga i-terminate na lang og appeal ang BRT project Gitataw ni DOTR Secretary Jaime Bautista nga nadilatar lang ang pagpadayon sa BRT project tungod sa pipila ka mga issue sama na lang sa reklamong gipadangat sa Kapitolyo nga mao ang pagbabag sa bus station sa Hulagway sa Intero Capitol Building nga patiktado sa, sa heritage laws. Apa ni Pasalig ginon si Bautista nga mahuman ang ubang bahin sa mga proyekto ug magamit karong katapusan bahin ning tuig. Gipunduan pinagi sa utang kon loans ang CBRT project sa World Bank Clean Technology Fund ug uban pang grupo nga mikabatanan tanan og 228.5 million US dollars. Mactan Cebu International Airport, mupatuman o cashless nga pagbayad human nakigsabot sa Osaka inila nga mobile wallet platform. Matod sa general manager nga kinahanglang muhangup sila sa mong paagi, isip bantugang tugpahanan din sa nasod. Ang kasayuran niya to de Crystal Joy Felerka. I-implementar na sa Mactan Cebu International Airport ang cashless payment kinihuman nagpinirmahay karong adlawa sa Memorandum of Agreement ang mga kadagkuan sa Mactan Cebu International Airport Authority o ang mga kadagkuan sa GCash nga maoy ilang partner. Kini nagpasabot nga ang pagbayad sa mga serbisyo sulod sa airport mamahimo ng ipaagi sa GCash pinaagi sa pagscan sa QR code. Matod ni MCIAA General Manager o CEO Julius Neri, ang pakigalayo nila nga sa GCash o sa kalakang nga Easy World Class Airport, muhangop sila sa bagong teknolohiya aron mapalambo pa ang ilang customer service. So, as the MCIAA strives to be a truly world-class airport, we are very grateful to have the opportunity to partner with companies such as GCash that enable us to do cashless, contactless, secure transactions for the benefit of all our stakeholders and for the writing public. Tugang ni GM Neri, nga pinaagi ni Ining Scan to Pay, dili na mahasol ang mga pasahero. That will make it easier for them to pay, more convenient. It's also more secure because it's cashless, no risk of the the payment getting lost or displaced, and the recording will also be much easier. Samtang nakita usab ni Miguel Polido, ang Visayas and Mindanao Head for Public Sector sa GCash, na kinahanglan usa ang airport sa muhangup sa cashless payment, ilabi na ang mga stakeholders ni Ini na gamit na usab sa maong pamaagi. So now that we're in the digital age, a lot of people are going into it. So if you're travelers, you're merchants, you're concessionaires, Uh, every one of the stakeholders, as Sir JJ mentioned, are going into the digital uh, space. 
we should be also a part of it. Ang general manager nagkana yun nga magbutang sila og impormasyon sulod sa airport unsaon saon ang pamaagi ni Ini apan kampante siya nga dili na maglisod ang mga pasahero sa paggamit sa GCash tungod kay nag-una na kini sa kamerkaduhan kung cashless payment ang hisgutan. Crystal Joy Filerka, CCTN News. Mga nasunugan sa barangay Mambaling ning Dakbayan sa Subo, mataga na niya og linya sa kuryente. Kiniuman sa tulo ka tuig nilang pagpaabot ni In. Kapilay na nun sila mihangyo o ngadto sa Cebu City Government. Ang kasayuran niya to di Sheriza May Uy. Gipasaligan ni Cebu City Acting Mary Malvin Garcia nga mapalinyahan na o kuryente ang mga biktima sa sunog sa sitio Lawis, barangay Mambaling. Kinatol sa pagbisita ni Garcia sa lapit, ugi paminawan ang mga hangyo o mga yangungo sa mga sedente na gingon hangtod karoon wala pa mga kuryente. Mato ni Rosler Salvador, ang sagad sa mga suliran sa mga lumupyo mao ang naglisod o kuha o mga permit sa City Hall tungo da kay pribado ang luna o uban ana ang nagtukod doon sa sapa. Gani kibutyaga sa Osaka Residente nga tungo da kay naglisod sila o pagpalinga sa kuryente sa Visayan Electric Company Conveco alo na ipipila kanila ang nagjammer na sa kuryente o uban na kikonek sa mga silingan na doon ay stable ng kuryente hinungdan na nabalaka sila nga mabalik ang sunog tungo sa ilang gibuhat. Apano sa ay mahimo tungod kay sukat pa na itong 2021 hangtod karon na wala pag yapon sila matauri o bagong linya sa kuryente. Suno na dili yun lalim, magbalik sa uno. Ang uban na jumper na, tinudaan na yun na. Tantang si Garcia at tubangan sa mga tao, gitawagan ng presidente sa Veco, aron na ang matagan o kalinaw na magkanaan ay kuryente kini kung makakuha o permit sa syudad. Hinungdan gidala niya at tulad sa pakigimamat ang Office of the Building Officials aron sa paggiya sa mga tao sa pagkuha sa permit. So right away, ha? right away, palihugga kay lima ka 2021 pa din sila nasunugan. Hangtod karon 2024, wag iya po maaksyon eh. No, at least uh, karon uh, nakadoog man sila na nag-istorya na ta, umaw naman na imong saad. So ato ng paningkamutan nga uh, uh, makomply ang tanan. Ano asa ng liwo pa ng muhatag o permit na kung mag-avail sa Let's Be Their Light program sa syudad nga mamahimo nga makaangkol o temporary connection na ang mga tao nga mga illegal settlers apan apil sa kasabutan na nga mamahimo kini nga madisconnect kung ang luna nga yung giukupara na gamito na sa tag-iya. Apinapin o undertaking nga nag-ingon nga ang kanina itong permit temporary na siya. Temporary na siya. Uh, musugot pa ng ang na hubog ang beko ng temporary permit basta nakaingol na dito nga magkwanta mo promise ta nga kung kami to sa tagiya ang yuta willing ta nga mo ipa revoke ang atong electrical permit Here is uy CCTN News Sa so, pagpambalita ni Dangup sa buwata ni Mayor Junot Ahong Chan ang pipila ka mga na biktima sa scam sa gipalit nilang yuta sa may sitio Kalawisan Dakbayan sa Lapu-Lapu Mabot sa 430 ka mga tao ang na-scam sa Doha ka subdivision ng Gibaligya sa Saka Kumpanya o pipila kanila ang nagsugod na sa pagbayad niya to pang 2016. Nasairan nga ang uban nila nakahatag na sa ilang full payment. Apan gibutyag ni Mayor Chan nga base sa record sa assessor's office, fish pan di ay ang maong luna nga gibaligya kanila o dili kini matituluhan. Muhimo og dugang pang legal nga lakang ang dakbayan sa maong reklamo o gitambagan kato mga naskam nga dili na mula o nga maangkon pa ang maong yuta. Apan o sa hingusgan nga manubag ang maong kumpanya o kinalang mabalik ang ilahang mga bayad. Gisubay na sa kaparian sa Basilica Minore del Santo Nino de Cebu ang naitabong pagpangawat sulod mismo sa kandilaan kagahapon. Makita sa CCTV footage sa sulod nga samtang na nagkot ning sa kababay daling midul kaniya ang grupo sa mga kawatan. Dayon kiniugkuha sa butang nga nasulod sa bag gipanag iya sa mong babay. Nasairan nga nakapablater na ang mong babay sa waterfront police station tungod sa ingida ngatan nga to sa mga nagpanon nga grupo sa mga kawatan o nakig alayon ng kaparian alang sa pagkuha sa CCTV footage sa mensaheng gipadala gikan sa basilika ngadto na sa CCTN news team sa butan sa mga kaparian karong adlaw ang naitabong insidente aron maimuan o mas hugot pang lakang kung isgutan ang seguridad mipaymangno ang kaparian sa basilika 
ngadto sa publiko nga magmatngon pirmi ilabi na kong aduna mga gipagdala mga personal nga butang sulod na sa simbahan Og mau kagto ang naglangkob sa ato mga balita sa alas 12 sangad sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs ilabi na sa ato news manager nga si Dennis Tabara ako si Gian Navarro at ang ang atong Sunday 47 karon ka nang alas 5 sa hapon hangtod da sa alas 6 sa gabi musunod na sa Dibadugay ang Santos nga misa gamanukad live sa CCTN Chapel daghang salamat daigo ng Dios
This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Cadillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Sisters and brothers, we offer this Mass for our own individual intentions, together with our brothers and sisters who are with us through our live streaming. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, Look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, knowledge inflates with pride, but love builds up. If anyone supposes he knows something, he does not yet know as he ought to know. But if one loves God, one is known by him. So, about the eating of meat sacrificed to idols, we know that there is no idol in the world, and that there is no God but one. Indeed, even though there are so-called gods in heaven and on earth, there are, to be sure, many gods and many lords. Yet, for us, there is one God, the Father, whom all things are and for whom we exist, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all things are are and through whom we exist. But not all have this knowledge. There are some who have been so used to idolatry until now that when they eat meat sacrificed to idols, their conscience which is weak is defiled. Thus, through your knowledge, the weak person is brought to destruction, the brother for whom Christ died. When you sin in this way against your brother and wound their consciences, weak as they are, you are sinning against Christ. Therefore, if food causes my brother to sin, I will never eat meat again, so that I may not cause my brother to sin. The Word of the Lord.
the Lord be with you. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear, I say, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes the cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you. And from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them to do. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them, and lend expecting nothing back, and your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Our Gospel reading, taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, 27 to 38, teaches us three things. Number one. Jesus is reminding us that we need to look at ourselves and it means that we have to go extra mile. Extra mile means Jesus saying, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. In other words, we need to go extra mile. Do not be contented of just praying maybe five minutes before you sleep. If you can pray five minutes, double it. Make it ten minutes. If you go to church or hear Mass, maybe on Thursdays, on a weekday, make it maybe if you have time, MWF. Go extra mile. If you're able to forgive once, Make it twice. If we're able to understand your brothers and sisters once, make it twice. Go extra mile. Number two, dare to be different. In our gospel reading, Jesus is saying, what makes you different from those people who are sinners and they have been doing what you are doing? In other words, dare to be different. What makes you different for all of us who attend Mass now with those office workers who do not attend Mass? Do you feel or do you see more hope than those people who do not attend Mass? Are you more joyful compared to your, to your neighbors and sisters who do not attend Mass? What is the impact of the Mass that you attend now and to those people who do not attend Mass? There to be different. My dear brothers and sisters, in our lives, there are people who keep on following other people. They keep following the same group, the same tradition. But mind you, it is not a guarantee when it is the mindset of the majority, it is right and correct. And even, there are many traditions which are wrong. Some would say, nindot yudtong karaan, or maingon maumay na andan. 
pero dili baya tanan na andan sakto. And number three, our gospel reminds us serve without measure. It means that when we measure, when we when we love, when we serve, do not think that you're able to serve and try to compare with other people. Kana sa binisaya bitaw kanang we tend to compare nga magmasuya ta ba nga kana bitaw mayingutam ako Lord magsigi man kog simba kada adlaw kada huybis pero mas may pa gini akong silingan gid dili tag simba kay dili mag-away sa bana ako noon inigulo na ko mag-away mi sa akong anak We tend to compare our situations to other people. Nga makaingom ito ka nga, mas maay pa nang way simba-simba diha, kay wak kay sakit. Ako noon, sakit kaya akong tuhod, no? nagang kong problema. But it is not the guarantee. No? But when you serve, when you love, do not measure. Ayaw pang winta. And so my dear brothers and sisters, as we continue with the Mass, we pray that we will be able to live out the message of our gospel reading today. That we are able to make a difference, that we do not measure the love that we give, and above all, we learn to love as well. Let's offer to God our petitions as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. May the Church show herself a loving mother to all, patient and kind. May she use the medicine of mercy rather than the arms of severity. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we show our love not only to those who are good to us, and may our goodness overflow to everyone, including our enemies. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we show mercy because mercy has first been shown to us. May we not invite God's judgment by our refusal to forgive others. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we not stop condemning others because we really do not know the problems, worries, wounds, and insecurities that they have to bear. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our departed brothers and sisters obtain God's mercy in the other life for practicing mercy and compassion during their earthly sojourn. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we offer our petitions through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, grace be grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery 
we may be faithful, united in mind and prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let them Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is your right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. Therefore we extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed, Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time his betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, dear Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. For the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil grace. We grant peace in our days, that the help of her mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not nor sense, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Please rise. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful Lord, whom you nourished and endowed with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Thank you.